It's, uh, we always wonder if we're going to be alone on the morning meditations. <laughs> and uh, let's uh, start with a few moments of silence to acknowledge the presence of deity and ask for open hearts. Let's whisper, serenity prayer, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Uh, this, oh, I'm, I'm glad to see the folks lying down and one sitting on the floor over here. I, I hope you'll continue to experiment. Um, this morning, I'm going to take you on a journey to uh, my secret place. and. Uh, I haven't taken anyone there in a long time. There will be a time, as there was last night, when I will just be quiet. For last night, it was five minutes. That's about what it will be this morning. And uh, I'm going to ask you to do something in that five minutes, and that's to run the phrase through your mind. It's, it's round. It's not a straight line, but it's a round phrase. And the phrase is, God is love, is God is love, is God is love. Do you see it? And just when, uh, when I get to the place where I finally shut up, if you will just begin to run that through your mind for the time that we're quiet. Um, my problem is to, to, to make this piece shut up up here so that I can sit quietly because it wants to talk all the time. And I can bore it into submission by doing something like that. We'll maybe talk about some of the other ways that we use. We're not experts in this. It's just what we do that works for us, and that's all we're here to share. So uh, if you'll take a comfortable body position, I think if you slide your buttocks as far back in the chair as you can to get your, uh, those of you who are sitting, the, <laughs> and um, get your uh, back as straight as you can so that your head kind of floats. And, uh, but the secret to that for me is getting my, my fanny as far back as possible. And uh, assume a comfortable body position, close your eyes. We're gonna do some breathing exercises and uh, we're going to inhale good and we're going to exhale uh, negative thoughts and uh, negative ideas. And so if you will, please now close your eyes and exhale. And very slowly inhale the golden good. And blow it out. And negative things blowing out. And slowly inhale. Blow it out. I'm going to do that one more time. Exhale. And very slowly inhale. And blow it out. And this time we'll just kind of let it go. And slowly exhale. Exhale now. And slowly inhale. and release. And you are uh, standing, walking around. Um, you're indoors in a, uh, a room. It's a, it's a large room. And the room contains uh, various file cabinets and trunks and boxes of assorted sizes. And as you walk around them, some of the file drawers are open. And you look in, and there are files in there on uh, all of the people that you know. And um, in another one, there are files on the things that you worry about on the planet. And there are uh, files for things that you enjoy, hobbies and sports. And uh, there are large files for each of your family members. And just everything that you ever think about is, uh, is in one of these files. And um, as you come around the corner, there is a, a wonderful, comfortable, gentle figure standing there in a monk's robe. And uh, it says to you, all of these things that you think about are going to be safe in my keeping while you're gone. There'll be no need for you to think about any of them. And uh, I hope you have a very pleasant journey. I think the door you're looking for is right over here. And uh, 
he escorts you over and opens the door and you step out of the building into uh, a beautiful field and uh, there's a path that leads through the field and you begin to follow the path uh, left foot right foot left foot right foot and uh, the path winds uh, as it begins to climb a, a small rise and um, moves around to the left and at the top of the rise you see ahead of you the uh, the enchanted forest and you begin down the other side and there are rose bushes on both sides of the path and you smell the roses as you go and some of them are brilliant reds and there are yellows so all the magnificent colors of the rainbow are in these roses as you pass and further on there are rows of tulips uh, likewise multicolored and eventually you get to the end of the flowers and step into the forest the trees are far apart and the uh, the sun is high and there's a light breeze blowing and the shadows play across the, the forest floor as you continue to follow the path and as as you come around a curve it's curving around to the right now off to your left there's a squirrel sitting on a stump watching you and above him in a tree a woodpecker stops to watch as you pass and you begin to hear a sound it's a comfortable safe sound and as you continue down the path you realize the sound is moving water and eventually you approach the stream and um, you step out of your sandals it's it's obvious that the the water is not deep enough to get up to your shorts and uh, you step into the stream and the water is so clean it, it begins to clean you as you step into it and the stones that lie on the bottom of the stream are not slippery and they're beautifully colored almost like gemstones they're so gorgeous and you turn and begin to slowly walk upstream and uh, the water plays up your shins up around your knees and it feels so refreshing and so cool and above you the trees continue to wave and the stream begins to get louder you can tell that there's more and more sound coming from it and as it curves around to the left you step out and see the mountain pool and at the far end of the pool a waterfall that's making most of the sound this magnificent sheet of crystal clear pure water is falling and filling this pool and you stay in the shallow water and move around the left side of the pool and step out and facing the pool you look across and on the other side uh, a doe and her fawn have stopped to drink and they're watching you and behind you is a field of flowers and there are wildflowers all kinds and the butterflies are tending them and the butterflies are of many colors and sizes and they've come to play with you and there is a very comfortable sofa and you sit down on one end of it, leaving a place for God to sit next to you as you sit at the mountain pool. And you sit quietly in God's presence, remembering that God is love, is God, is love.
time has come for your meditation to be ended and you stand from the sofa and look around again. The uh, butterflies are at rest on the flowers and the doe and her fawn have disappeared into the woods. And it's time for you to leave the enchanted forest and the mountain pool. And you turn and behind you a door and you reach down and turn the knob and step into this room and into your seat, knowing that the mountain pool is simply a door away at any time, that you can return and sit quietly in the master's presence anytime, anywhere, by just going through the door in your mind. Let's have a silent prayer of thank you. Amen. And now let's begin to awaken slowly as we always do by wiggling the fingers just a little bit. Then stop. And now the toes. And now drop your head forward on your chest and rotate your head around to the left and back and around to the right and down. And let's go back the other way now. Roll it back around to the right and all the way back. And just kind of roll it in the back a little bit. And now back upright. And now pick up your right foot and move it about an inch away from your left. And now pick up the left and move it about an inch away from your right. Now let's slowly see the touchdown signal and the <clears throat> clear the throat. <clears throat> Twist your body. Twist at the waist and slowly bring your arms down. Give yourself a hug. You do deserve one. And when you think you're ready to open your eyes, um, I'd like to tell you the rest of the mountain pool. There is a place where you can walk up the left side as you face the waterfall. There are stairs. And there's a place where you can sit and look through the waterfall back out. Um, and some days the water runs smooth and you can just almost see perfectly through it and other days it's, it ripples and it blurs. And behind that there's a cave and you walk about 40 yards through the cave and it comes out to a bluff and you're about 2,000 feet above this magnificent valley and there's a wonderful place to sit there. Recently, on the other side of the pool, there's a cabin and some of my mentors that are gone are on the porch. I haven't been over there yet. Thanks for coming this morning. And uh, breakfast is in about 10 minutes. Anything? <laughs>